Hello and welcome to Season 2, Episode 3 of K9 Corner. I'm your host, Jackson Ray, and I'm joined in the kennel by Angel Madeira and Yuli Ruiz Ramon. What's up, man? Hi. Hi. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I'm great. How are you, bro? Good, good. good. Yuli, how are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's good to hear. It's good to hear. All right, well, you know, we start with our topics. So, Yuli, you want to start it off today? All right, well, as you know, we're all in the month of November, and the, the weather's been getting colder, getting sweater, sweater weather. Pretty soon it might start snowing, if we get snow, that is. And also, coming up soon is Thanksgiving. I personally cannot wait for those, for that ham, the mashed potatoes, all the oh, other yeah. things at Thanksgiving. It's so good. Mm-hmm. I mean, wait, but like, what, what do you guys do for your Thanksgiving? You guys like go with your family and like have a big feast or is it just like you and your mom? Oh, or? no, it's like a big like, yeah, family, you yeah. go with family, yeah, yeah, yeah. lots of food, lots of talking, lots of uh, card games. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you guys do card games too or not? Oh, uh, yeah, we do yeah? a bunch of different games. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. I mean, my family's, I guess, kind of lame then because all we do is talk and just you know, play enjoy music. Games? No, I guess we just listen to music, talk in between and like... Amongst ourselves, to just have a good time. Well, I got, I got my, like, uncles and stuff. They're always watching the football games. Yeah, so exactly. On, so. That, too. That, too. In the living room. Yeah. Yeah, that, too. That, too. All right, well, Yuli, uh, talking about, like, getting uh, into the different seasons, um, I want to talk to you guys about Christmas and, like, all, how all the stores are coming together to, like, change up their their, um, their seasons, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited for Christmas. This cold weather, I mean, it's just my favorite. I love the Christmas times. I love the, the the season. I love being with my family, not only for Thanksgiving, but for Christmas. And I just love being together, you know? All right, so how do you feel about people that like to, like, set up Christmas before Thanksgiving? Do you do you like it or no? Nah, I feel like Christmas should be set up after Thanksgiving. No, actually, it's, well... It's a December thing. You should be in it doing that, like, in December. It is a December thing, least. but look, but think about it. Like, there's people putting up their, their decorations after Halloween, you know? Yeah. And so, like... I feel like I feel like even then that's a little bit too early. Over the weekend, my grandma had me set up a Christmas tree at her house. <laughs> <laughs> Where what? It's like last weekend was November, the beginning of November. Yeah, basically. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I mean that's acceptable to some point, but I don't know. I feel like it's a December thing, or it's like like a late, very late November thing. You yeah. Know? After Thanksgiving. I don't like know, after Black Friday. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, I feel like that's when like it's like I'm gonna put my stuff. That's up, when you it know? should go, but yeah. It's whatever. You it's know? whatever. I mean, I'm excited. But, Jackson, what do you got to talk to us about today? Well, uh, there's some big sports uh, sports news going on. Uh, a few weeks ago, the Dodgers ended up winning the World Series. Are you a Dodgers fan? Let's go. Of course. Uh, yeah, they absolutely killed the Yankees. Like, the they Yankees were so good at the beginning of the season, and then somehow they made it to the World Series and forgot how to hit a baseball. <laughs> but I want to say congratulations to my guy, Freddie Freeman. Uh, sad he's not on my Braves anymore, but I'm glad he could win a uh, finals MVP for him. And then also we got the NFL trade deadline. It was a few days ago. Uh, one of the big moves was Devontae Adams to the Jets with reuniting with Aaron Rodgers. But they haven't looked the same as they the were. The chemistry isn't there. No, it's not. It's not, it's it's, not how it used to be. It's not it's not going well in New York. It's not what they liked. And then we also got NBA starting up. I love me some basketball. And big news was first game of the season, Bronny got to play with his dad. Let's go. Like that's, that's some historic stuff right that, that, That's crazy. Imagine that. Imagine what you said. Like uh, You were talking to me about creating your own teammate. <laughs> yeah. Like That's insane. Like yeah. I feel like that's legacy right there, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean... LeBron's, LeBron's old, but I mean he's still one of the best in the league. <laughs> and then Bronny, he'll get there one day. He just got moved down to the G League, but yeah, he'll he'll progress. He'll progress. He'll progress. I mean, you see LeBron's legacy. I mean, it's took, you know, it took it takes years, like anything. Yeah, of course. You know, it takes progress, right, Yuli? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Jackson, tell us a little bit more about what we're doing today, man. All right, today we're welcoming on. Uh, my favorite counselor, sorry to Miss Donovan, sorry the other counselors. Uh, um, welcome on Mr. McCauley. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for having me today. How are you, Mr. I'm doing well. How, How about you? yourselves? Thank right, you. We're, we're great, we're great, we're great. All right, so as I mentioned, Mr. McCauley is one of our counselors here. Uh, how long have you been here? 
So this is my second full year here at Frankfurt High School, but I did work at the middle school for just a few months a couple of years ago as mm -hmm. well. So it's really cool to see everybody kind of grown up and ready to move on with their lives after high school here soon. That's nice. That's nice. So um, being a counselor, uh, you got your degree from Butler. Uh, could you tell us about that? Yeah, absolutely. So I actually grew up in the state of Minnesota. Um, didn't know anything about Indiana. Don't have any family out here. But after I finished undergrad, um, I started looking around a little bit at different grad schools and wanted to get away from home. Um, so coming to Indianapolis was the perfect kind of distance away from home, but I was still close enough where I can drive back in a day if I have to. Yeah. Came out here, visited, really loved the city, really loved the campus, got to meet one of my professors that day, um, and really just kind of fell in love with it, um, and then decided to start there a couple months later. It's nice to hear, that's nice to hear. Didn't hurt that they had a great basketball team at the time, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So. At the time, yeah. yeah. Not, not recently, but. Not recently, no. Ever since I went there, they went downhill. But. Yeah. And then uh, you also went to Winona to get a psychology major. That's correct, yeah. How'd you like that? That was super interesting. So um, after high school, I only had a couple options, um, Winona State being one of them. It's a small state school in Minnesota. Um, never even really knew about psychology in high school. Wanted to be an accountant at first. Um, my freshman accounting class in college, I would fall asleep almost constantly just because it was not piquing my interest at all. Um, but as part of my electives, I had to take a uh, psychology class as well and just fell in love with like studying human behavior, understanding why people do what they do, um, which kind of led to the whole degree after that. I feel like that's so interesting, like yeah. the whole psychology thing and how they like the human brain works and yeah. the behaviors it's of it. It's a complex system. Yeah, absolutely. Like it's, it's insane. Um, which school did you like better, Mr? Like, did you like Butler better, or did you like the the Winona? Like, which one? Yeah, it was just so different because, like, in Winona, I knew people. I had a couple friends from high school that had gone yeah. there as well that I was roommates with, and then coming out to Butler, like, I was all on my own. I feel like I really learned more about myself at Butler because I was on my own. I didn't have a family. I didn't have friends. Didn't know anybody in the city. So. Um, as far as which one was better, I don't know that I can say they were just different and mm -hmm. I think they were both like perfect for me for that time in my life. Like, I don't think I could have moved away from home right after high school, but um, once I was, you know, 22 at that point, it was way easier and kind of starting my own path out here in Indy. That's, that's, that's I don't know if that's a good you, answer. Yeah, yeah no, 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 that's perfect, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Would you say either, the, either, either of those were like, were your dream school or like, or did you not get to go to your dream school? Or what is your dream school? You know, like yeah. So growing up in Minnesota, I've always like you guys talked about the col or the pro sports, but I've mm -hmm. always been more of like a college sports fan. So the University of Minnesota is like my dream school, I guess. Um, unfortunately, I didn't hi take high school super serious all the time, mm -hmm. so my test scores and my grades were not going to get me wow. into the University of Minnesota. Um, but I still follow them. Um, but Butler kind of became one of those dream schools once I came out and visited. Um, and once I had an opportunity to actually be a student there as well. That was beautiful. Yeah. Shout out Butler. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we also heard that not only are you a counselor, but it kind of runs in the family. Yes. And your wife is too. That's right, yes. Um, she works at Garen Catholic, correct? That's correct, yep. She works at a high school too. So what's it like being two counselors in one household? <laughs> yeah, so that's maybe why I should say that Butler was my favorite because that's where she and I met. Um, okay. So she was in the program just a year younger than I was. Um, so yes, she is a counselor as well. So we definitely go home and we talk, you know, different things that are going on in the school systems, different things that we see at the high school level. She helps me a lot with different things as far as like college and career readiness stuff. And then I talk a lot about academic stuff. So we definitely bounce ideas off each other. Um, and kind of rely on each other for support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that she um, was awarded the esteemed Golden Guide Award from Notre Dame. Okay. And did she hold that over your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was saying that I'd come get into my dream school, she did get into her dream school. <laughs> she had much better grades in high school than I did, clearly. No, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. We still go up there a couple yeah. times a year and just visit campus and go to football games, so she loves it up there. That's nice. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So would you say would you say that she's a better counselor? I would say she's smarter for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. That's great. Um, Jackson. Um, so, 
with your wife, mm -hmm. uh, we heard that you two went to the Taylor Swift concert not too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you want to talk to us about that? Yeah, it was. So that was her second time going. The first time we actually went back to Minnesota, stayed with my family. They went to the concert in Minneapolis, but I was just a chaperone that night, kind of okay. driving home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, this time I did get a ticket, luckily enough. Um, I've always been a fan of Taylor Swift's music, but not to the level that she is. Oh. Um, so I went with her and then two of our nieces who are in their 20s. Um, I want to say that I was a big fan, but then seeing them and seeing everybody else in the <laughs> arena, like there are some much bigger fans than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was doing my best to keep up with the lyrics and singing <laughs> along like they were. I was a little behind sometimes, but no. It was a great experience. It was a great performance. It was the loudest arena that I've ever been in in my entire life. Yeah. Um, and it was hard to fall asleep that night just after being so, so much yeah, adrenaline. Yeah, like being hyped, yeah. being pumped. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you consider yourself not like a Swifty then? Uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. like a diehard, but yeah. <laughs> that's great, that's great, that's great. Jackson, if you want to. Um, so, well, within your family, we also heard that you and your wife have a dog named Cece. That's correct, yes. Um, a little golden retriever. Yep, uh, yep. How long have you had her? So she is like six and a half years old now. She still acts like she's six months old, though. Um, she does not listen to me at all. So my wife, for whatever reason, she can let Cece do whatever she wants. Cece always responds to her. Yeah. I'll be yelling at her from the house and trying to get her to come inside, and she just acts like I don't even exist. So she an energetic dog? She is, yeah. She's definitely got lazier in her old age, and she loves taking naps, yeah, but yeah, yeah. she loves going mm -hmm. for walks, too. Awesome. I mean, that's like, I feel like that's any dog, you know? Like, yeah. Because, I mean, my dog's getting older, too. I got a little chihuahua. And yeah. I just want to sleep and eat, you know? <laughs> that's nice. Well, um, we know, like, we've talked about your family, but mm -hmm. sometimes you want to get away, and we heard you like to golf. That's true. So, um, and one of our teachers here, Mr. Dudley, we've uh -huh. heard you two have golfed a few times. Yep. Uh, what do you like about golfing? I like golf because it's, uh, it's an individual sport where I can compete against myself and try to you know, beat a previous score or do better than I did previously. I also love like, the outdoor aspect of it, so I can get outside and go for a walk sometimes, You're enjoy the nice weather. You're a calm golfer, not like one of those that like... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't thrown any clubs or broken any clubs anytime recent, so um, no, it's just super relaxing for me. Even when I'm not playing well, it's just nice to be out and yeah. just kind of get away for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah. play well often. So, oh, oh, oh. speaking about playing well, um, we did see that you went to go play in, um, in Iceland for the um, the, Ar the what is it called the Arctic Open. Arctic <laughs> Open, yeah. Tell us about that, because I mean that I mean that's that's competition right there. That's, yeah. That's, that's like, that's a whole different thing than just playing, you know, yeah. with Mr. Dudley, going out, <laughs> you know? Lucky Tell for, us about that. Tell us about that. Yeah, lucky for me, they did not have very stringent requirements on who they were allowing in. So as long as you uh, paid your entry fee, they were pretty okay, much okay, allowing yeah, you yeah. in. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it was one of the coolest experiences um, that I've ever had in my life. Obviously, Iceland, um, during the summer, they have nearly 24 hours of sunlight. So for this tournament, you played under the midnight sun. So I teed off at like 8 o'clock at night and then finished at like 2 in the morning. But it was still bright enough to play. Oh, shoot. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The sun never went down that night because it was the summer solstice, longest day of the year. There were some really good golfers there, but I played with a gentleman from Houston and two Icelandic gentlemen. Wow. And we just had a great time the whole time. It was not super competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was just really, really fun. That's beautiful. I mean, yeah. that's, that's the beauty of the sport, you know? Yeah, yeah. Bringing people from all over the world Exactly, together. exactly. And, well, like, would you say, like, like, with, with this, this experience not being, like, I mean, because, like, it was competitive, right? Yeah. Just, like, I mean, not too competitive and, like, competitive. I mean, like, would you say, like, it was, like, it was, like, different? Because, like, I imagine here, because um, did you have to, like, like you said you paid to get over there. Mm -hmm. Did they pay for your flight, or, like, did you have to... Nope, we paid all of that, we paid, we paid our lodging and everything. Oh, okay, okay, yep. okay, okay. Okay, well, and then it is different then, like, because, I mean... There I was, know. like, a prize, per se, but, like, there were some people who were super competitive and yeah. other people who were just there yeah, for the yeah, experience, okay, like, yeah. maybe. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Hopefully you know. didn't find what place I finished because that's kind of embarrassing. But. What place did you finish? I didn't find that. It's pretty low. It's, just, it's, <laughs> it's like the bottom 50, I think. Bottom 50. <laughs> it's not last. It's not last. Not no. last. Not last. <laughs> All right. Well, we also do have um, a segment on your travel because okay. not only did you travel to Iceland, but 
we we see that you like to travel and especially overseas like yeah. everywhere everywhere yeah. mister <laughs> and so um we we want to talk about your trip to to, to ireland to iceland to scotland mm -hmm. and i just want to know a little bit about your your experience of traveling and why you travel so much and yeah and like why you enjoy it so much and yeah. you know so we love traveling just because it's nice to see other cultures. It's nice to see how other parts of the world kind of operate. And I've always felt like diversity in, in other cultures like make me a richer person. So when I figure out how other people live, like it makes me, it reminds me how big the world is and how maybe small some of the problems that I have are. Um, but just like seeing some of the natural beauty of Ireland, like going on the coast and seeing um, the the cliffs and like seeing all the history behind it, it was just really really cool. Um, I've gotten huge into like credit card points recently okay. in the last few years, so okay. that's what helps fund some of these trips. So that's how I spend a lot of my time. I don't have social media right now, so I just spend time like thinking about different places that I want to mm -hmm. go, and then trying to convince my wife that we should go there. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's your favorite place you've been to? Gosh, that's a hard one. I think Iceland would have to be Iceland. it. It may be because it was most recent, but it was like the most like beautiful place in the world. Um, the waterfalls, the hiking that we got to do. Yeah. Like, so the, it wasn't because of the tourney? No, not because, because of the okay. tourney, no. <laughs> okay, okay. The people there were wonderful, the food yeah. was good, all of that. What kind of, what kind of food did you eat there? That's, I just had that question. Yeah, <laughs> there were a lot of like, a um, lot of beef, a lot of lamb, a lot of like fish, just being that it's surrounded by the ocean. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen like puffin, like the little like black and orange and white birds, but they're super oh, common th over there. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so they actually like, I didn't eat them, but they put them on the menu over mm -hmm. there. So there's some like more exotic things too, but <laughs> we kept it pretty, pretty straightforward. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Right. No, that's great. I mean, I feel like, you know, mister, you're not, you're not old, you know, so <laughs> it's, you gotta, you gotta enjoy the, the time that yeah. you have, you know? Absolutely. Exactly. I mean, I feel, I feel like that's beautiful. Yeah. That's yeah. the dream of everybody. Yeah. All right. Well, mister, um, we're going to keep it going real quick. We have a segment we okay. have for you. It's called the Fast Five, which is uh, five questions, and I'm going to give you five seconds to answer each one. Okay. All right. So whatever comes to the dome first, <laughs> yeah. you're going to answer, all right? All right. Let me start it off. Um, do you guys take your dog with you when traveling? Yes, if we're driving. Okay, okay, yep. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, Yuli? Um, what's your favorite golf course to go on? Because there's like a, a 30 of them in, like, in the county. Uh, my favorite golf course right now, I would say Golf Club of Indiana mm -hmm. in Whitestown. So just, oh, yeah, kind of okay. close by here. I've never been there, so I wouldn't know either. <laughs> I don't know. All right, for sure. What's your favorite golf club, like the actual, like the clubs? So I have a 52 degree wedge and I use it inside of like 100 yards and I like it because I can hit like a wide variety of shots with it. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Not I my mean, driver, my I, driver. I, still, I really don't know what any of that is, <laughs> you know, because like, I don't golf, so. Um, all right, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Um, so mister, you always say good morning to me every single morning. It's not one morning that you don't fail to say it to me uh, when I come into the school. Would you consider yourself a morning person then, or? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm in bed by like 8.15, 8.30 every night. Oh my goodness. Talk about, I'm, I am old. I may not look <laughs> old, but I am old. I gotta get to bed early. All uh, right, for sure. All uh, right, Yuli, you wanna finish it off? Uh, what would your dream dog be if you could have any breed? Yeah, I think Golden Retriever's it. Now that we've had a Golden Retriever, retriever like their oh. personalities, how fun-loving they are, how easygoing yeah. they are, like I don't think I can do anything else now. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. So cute. All right, I'm going to send it over to our directors for their director's question. Hello, I'm Nora, the technical director, and here is Ethan, the director director, with the director's question. Why did you move to Indiana from Minnesota, and do you ever miss being there? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, so I definitely moved out here for school, first and foremost, just really love the Butler School Counseling Program. Um, do I miss Minnesota? I miss Minnesota a lot less this time of year when it's already snowed Shit. over there oh. and it's like 20 degrees right now. So their winter just goes on so much longer than the one does here. But all my family is still back there outside of my wife. So I do miss that part of it and not seeing them as often. But the weather, I enjoy much more here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you travel out to Minnesota? Like we usually go like two to three times a year. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, drive yeah. back there. Summertime in Minnesota cannot be beat. So we try to get there during the summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Jackson? Uh, so, <clears throat> they have their questions, directors have their questions, I got my little question. Sure. So, um, it's kind of a little side question. So, do you like Michael Jackson or Prince better? Well, Prince is a Minnesotan, so I gotta go with Prince, You gotta right? go with Prince. Yeah. Prince. Wow. 
Wow. That's sad. Wow. <laughs> I feel like there was a right or wrong answer there, wasn't there? There had to be a right or wrong answer in this. Oh. Come on. <laughs> it's, it's just, I mean, we respect it. We respect we, it, right? We respect it, but like, king of pop. But, but, but you're wrong. <laughs> we respect it, but you're wrong. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, that's all we have. For yeah. Jackson? All right, that's all we have from you. Awesome. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, of course. And uh, just have a good day. Yeah, thank you guys for <laughs> having me. Thank you for me. coming on, mister. Absolutely, I appreciate it. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I want to thank the crew for putting it together. Anything from you guys? Uh, just thank, thank you to Mr. McCauley and all the staff for coming along and making this possible, you know? Yeah. Thank you. All right, that's all from us. Peace.